Hi everybody and welcome to the latest vodcast for Honors Biology at Desert Ridge High School. I'm Mr. Galladay and in this installment we're going to be studying the process of transcription. Transcription is the first process of uh, creating a, a protein and creating a protein uh, and as we've seen uh, in earlier lessons we talked about the fact that um, a gene is the section of DNA that that is encoded that makes a particular protein and the first step is to make our messenger RNA copy uh, which can leave the nucleus and go out into the cytoplasm of the cell and that we call that process we call transcription so at this point this is a good point to uh, update your notebooks update your table of contents and the organization of your notebook um, and get ready for the information Okay, as we said, uh, transcription is a process whereby we make a messenger RNA copy of a DNA gene. Um, and, and doing that, we first have to, of course, start out with a double strand of DNA. And so what you see here is the double strand of DNA. So uh, this would represent the, the ladder that straightened out. So you have an A bonded with T, G with C, C with G, and so on down the line. And so the first thing in, in doing transcription, the first thing that we have to do is to unzip the double strand of DNA. And we have a, an enzyme that does this and we'll, that we'll be learning more about in just a second. So first of all, the two strands of DNA are unzipped. Uh, and then the second thing is, is that we start constructing our messenger RNA. Uh, based on one of the DNA strands as a template. And in this example, we're going to be using the bottom strand as our template. And so what happens is one at a time, the uh, nucleotides are, are paired with the complementary strands on the DNA. Now, as you see, A is a messenger, is an mRNA uh, nucleotide. It bonds with T. G bonds with C. C bonds with G, but we have one difference in, MR, in RNA. RNA doesn't have thymine. RNA has something called uracil. Uh, and so U bonds with A rather than T. So this process continues on down the line as just as before. G goes with C, A goes with T, C goes with G, C goes with G. There's an A, so we get a U there, an A with the T, a G with the C, and so on. So one at a time, these um, the nucleotides from the uh, the RNA nucleotides are added to that growing strand. Now RNA is a single-stranded molecule. It's not like DNA, which has a uh, which has a double strand. So uh, RNA polymerase is the enzyme that uh, that makes the messenger RNA. And if you look at this word. Um, RNA is a polymer. If you remember back when we talked about monomers and polymers, uh, it's constructed, it's a polymer, uh, which is a nucleic acid. The polymer is made of nucleotides, and each of these A's and G's and C's and U's and so on, each of these are uh, one of the monomer. And we said anything that ends in A's is an, is an enzyme, and the enzyme that constructs this polymer is called RNA polymerase. Okay, so it's pretty simple the way this is named. Uh, it builds the RNA polymer. We add ASE at the end, and so that's uh, what the enzyme's called. The next step in this process is the two DNA strands reconnect to each other. Okay, so uh, we've we've made our messenger RNA strand, and so now the the final thing that happens is at the end messenger RNA strand leaves the nucleus, goes out into the cytoplasm of the cell. Once this is done, our transcription process is complete and uh, we are free to make another uh, another message of RNA from the same place. In just a minute I'm going to be showing you a little video clip uh, and there are some things that go on in here that I want to show you before I show the video clip and then I'll review it at the end. The first thing you're going to see is something called a promoter. Um, a promoter is a section of DNA that designates the start of the gene. It basically says start transcription process here. That's what this region right here is. 
uh, and you're, you're going to see this, this little loop uh, happen in, in the DNA, uh, and that is the process whereby transcription starts. Okay. Again, keep in mind all of this happens in the nucleus. The next thing you're going to see is the RNA polymerase. That's the enzyme that performs transcription. That's this blue uh, blob here. It is a protein. Um, and the reddish stuff that you see here is the double strand of DNA. The yellow chain that you see coming out of the top is our mRNA strand that's being constructed. Uh, the RNA polymerase does several functions. The first thing that it does is it unzips the DNA. Uh, then it takes in the RNA nucleotides, the A, U, Gs, and Cs. That's what all these little yellow dots that you see floating around here are. Uh, these are examples of the RNA nucleotides. They're coming in uh, an intake port in the, in the enzyme. Uh, and then this is going to form an mRNA strand, which is complementary to that DNA template. Uh, and then this process continues until it reaches the end of the gene. And then when that happens, you're, you're going to see this whole enzyme basically come apart and then the, uh, the mRNA strand will go floating free. Once all of this is done, the transcribed gene, which is mRNA, we see this now. We, this whole area here is from the outside of the nucleus. We're going to see that leave the nucleus after the transcription. Okay, so at this point, I'll start the video. The innermost workings of how a simple code is turned into flesh and blood. This is what Francis Crick called the central dogma of modern biology. How DNA makes protein. It starts with a bundle of factors assembling at the start of a gene. It's these that trigger the first phase of the process reading off the information that will be needed to make the protein. The gene is the length of DNA stretching away to the left. Everything's ready to roll. Three, two, one. The blue molecule racing along the DNA is reading the gene. It's unzipping the double helix and copying one of the two strands. The yellow chain snaking out of the top is a copy of the genetic message, and it's made of a close chemical cousin of DNA called RNA. The building blocks to make the RNA enter through an intake hole. They are matched to the DNA, letter by letter, to make an exact copy of the A's, C's, G's, and T's of the gene. The only difference is that in the RNA copy, the letter T is replaced with a closely related nucleic acid known as U. You are watching this process, called transcription, in real time. It's happening right now in almost every cell in your body. When the RNA copy is complete, it snakes away from the nucleus and into the outer part of the cell. Then in a dazzling... Okay, so you've just finished watching the video, which includes the transcription, uh, the details of the transcription. And again, just to review what you just saw, uh, you saw a promoter region, which is the part of the DNA uh, that be, it's this, designates the start of the gene. Then the next thing that you saw uh, was that uh, promoter began uh, the the uh, rather the RNA polymerase uh, started at the promoter, um, and then all of this took place in the, the nucleus. So you saw that RNA polymerase enzyme. You saw that racing down the length of the DNA, uh, and then it was taking in the well. It was doing several things. It was unzipping the DNA. Uh, it was taking in the nucleotides, the A, the U, the G, and the C. That was all these little yellow things that you saw floating around. Um, and as it did that, it f uh, built a, an mRNA strand, which was complementary to the DNA strand. It was doing all of that 
uh, all of those processes as it uh, basically just kind of shot down the, the length of the DNA. Um, it did that all the way until it got to the termination sequence, at which point you saw uh, the messenger RNA strand float free of the DNA strand. Uh, and then you saw it leave the nucleus and head out to a ribosome where, where uh, the process of translation begins. Uh, and the tr process of translation is what we're going to look at tomorrow. Um, and so at this point, uh, that's going to conclude this, this podcast. And uh, I'm Mr. Galladay for Desert Ridge High School in Honors Biology, and I hope you have a good day.